What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a really cool wireless charging device that's unlike any other wireless charger that you've ever used. This is made by IQI, it's the Invisi Qi Wireless Qi Charger. Now this charger will pretty much allow you to charge your phone through almost any surface, as long as it's not metal, and less than 1.18 inches thick. So a table, your desk, a nightstand, maybe somewhere even in your car, you can turn into a wireless charging surface. It's also capable of working with pretty much any wireless Qi charging device, whether it be uh, the brand new Galaxy S21, your iPhone 12, AirPods, pretty much anything that uses the wireless Qi charger, you will be able to use this with this device. Now it also outputs a maximum of 10 watts, and it has four charging coils to give you that max distance. It also has a foreign body detection system as well as temperature and overcharge protection so you know that your phone is going to quit charging once it's at 100%. Now they also have a specific model that works with MagSafe for the iPhone 12, but the only thing with that is it does decrease the distance it can charge uh, a little bit, and I will be putting a link in the description for these in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So first we're going to go ahead and see what's inside the box, then we're going to go ahead and do the setup and show you how everything works. So here we have a sticker that will show you exactly where on your surface you will be able to charge your phone. It's made out of a nice uh, thick vinyl. And then here we have our wireless charger. It is made of all plastic. It does have uh, some good weight to it. It's not super heavy, but it uh, does have some weight. It looks like the input is capable of doing 24 volts, uh, one amp, and the output, like I said, is a max of 10 watts. Here we have a plastic holder um, for underneath whatever surface you're going to mount this to. Just kind of looks like it fits right in just like that. And then here we have our manual and some 3M stickers in case you don't want to uh, permanently screw this into whatever you're mounting it to. We have our screws. And then here we have a little wireless device that will show you exactly where your phone or the sticker needs to be placed. You pretty much place this over the place that you have the wireless charger uh, connected and these little LEDs will light up to show you exactly where the middle is, which is pretty nice. And here we have our charger. It is capable of doing output 24 volts, one amp. Okay, so this seems to be the perfect way to mount this system. Pretty much I have the tester exactly where I want to charge my phone. I'm sitting at my desk where I do all my video editing and the phone is pretty much out of the way right here fits perfectly. So find a spot exactly where you want to charge your phone and then put the little tester directly uh, down where you want the phone to be. Once you have that done, then we'll go ahead and take our charger here. I've already mounted it into the holder here. I've used these screws to keep it in place. Make sure that the little logo is facing up where you want to charge. Then we'll go ahead and put this charger underneath the tester here. So then you can put the charger underneath the tester and then move it around until you only have the single LED in the middle of the tester lit up. Now you know exactly where the middle is. You can go ahead and mark two of the holes on the mount. That way you can screw that in. And here as you can see we have the system mounted. I've only used uh, two screws just for right now and it holds it in place uh, perfectly fine. It's not going to go anywhere So if you don't want to use all four screws, you definitely don't have to but it's super easy to mount as you can see So once we have our wireless charger mounted where we want it I was going to go ahead and suggest putting a piece of painters tape over the tester with a little dot on it or you can put the dot on after just to let you know exactly where the middle is so as you can see, my little dot is over where the LED is, signifying the middle of the wireless charger. Then what you can do is and go, you can take up the tape, remove the tester, and then put your tape back down, 
and now we have exactly the center of the wireless charger. Now what you can do here is you can kind of make a little hole through the tape if you really want to uh, and then put a little mark on your desk and then you can use that sticker that came with the system or you can put down a little sticker whatever uh, you want on your desk just to signify where the middle of that wireless charging is. Okay so here we'll do a little test. I have my iPhone 12. It does have a case on it. It's not super thick, but it is a case. So we'll go ahead and put it over the wireless charger and see how well it works. And as you can see, it starts charging without any problems. So now let's go ahead and try a OtterBox case that's just a little bit thicker. So here's the OtterBox case we're going to be using. It's the a new series. It is MagSafe compatible, so it does use the MagSafe, but it's not going to work with this. I just kind of wanted to let you know uh, what I was testing with. So we'll go ahead and put our phone in here. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, it still does wirelessly charge through this OtterBox case. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out some AirPods Pro. And as you can see, it is wireless charging. And then here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note Ultra. Now this one's going to be interesting because it does have a pretty prominent bump on the back. We'll see if it does still wirelessly charge though. As you can see, it still works even though there is a gap between the desk and the phone itself. So here I just wanted to show you the thickness of the table that I'm working with. It's about three quarters inch thick. And the max operating distance for this wireless charger is 1.18 inches. So that still gives me plenty of space uh, between the table and the phone. And I believe that has to do a lot with why the thicker cases do still work on the phone. So if you are using the wireless charger to its max and then you add the thicker case, it may or may not work for you. You just have to really test it out to see if the thickness of the case is too much for the wireless charger to handle if you're at its max distance. Then here we have some Samsung Galaxy Buds. And as you can see, the little LED is lit up on the bottom. Okay, so let's try a much thicker case than the ones we've been testing. This is the Unicorn Beetle Pro. It's pretty equivalent to the OtterBox Defender case as far as protection goes. And it also does have that plastic kickstand on the back. So we'll go ahead and see if it'll charge through this. And it still seems to work. Now I also tried this with my nightstand and with a slight modification to feed the power cord through the back, you can easily use it with your nightstand. This is probably the second most used place you're going to want to wirelessly charge your phone. I also wanted to test this out with my granite countertop and see if it would charge through it. And as you can see, it's about one and one quarter inches thick, which is a little more than what this is capable of charging through. And as you can see, it is powerful enough to light up the little LED tester, but when I go and try to charge my phone, it just won't work. I've even tried it without the case and it still won't charge. Now if the granite was less than 1.18 inches thick, it would definitely charge through it. And then here is the top of my entertainment center. It is glass, so just wanted to show you that it does work through glass. Here's the tester. So now I'm gonna move the phone. As you can see, it does charge. So I've been using this wireless charger for the past week now and I really have nothing but good things to say about it. It works just as well as any other wireless charger, but it keeps your desk or nightstand super clean. You don't have to worry about any wires anywhere. You don't have to worry about the charger taking up more room on your desk. It doesn't make any noises. You just simply put your phone down where you need to and it charges away while you work or while you sleep. It's just that simple. Now it also will not work through metal just like any other wireless charger out there. So if your case has any metal in it or if your desk has any metal in it that obstructs the wireless charger on your phone 
it's not going to work. One of the really great things about the extended range of this wireless charger is it'll allow you to use much thicker cases than you could regularly use with any wireless charger. Especially if you're using a thinner table, it'll give you that much room to charge through. So if you have any case that won't work with a regular wireless charger, it'll most likely work with this. It also doesn't make any noise, so you don't have to worry about you know, any fan noise while you're sleeping or if you're working. Now, as far as the charging speeds goes, it charges about as fast as any other uh, 10 watt wireless charger would. Uh, the phone does get a little warm. It doesn't get hot, but that's just like any other uh, charger using wireless capabilities. Your phone is going to get a little warm. Now, the only con that I can really see to this whole setup is the power cable. I kind of wish that it was uh, a lot longer than it was just in case you have to route it uh, like my nightstand if I have to route it through the nightstand down the nightstand into a power uh, connection or somewhere else you're gonna need uh, a longer cable or you're gonna need to get a up like a power strip or something to bring the cable a little closer so I just kind of wish that the the power cord was a little longer than it is now. So again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.